You never listen, Astira. Now your sister is gaining strength. She is out of control. Her, she is changed. The evil is in her. You did this. You caused this mess. I'll leave with the child tonight. There's a cottage just at the end of the woods. You can visit me. Us. You are no sister of mine. Leave and never come back. You are not welcome here.
precious time that I need to get to my grandmother's. Grandmother? You never mentioned your grandmother. That's why I'm in the woods in the first place. Your mother sent me to deliver this to her. She has the sickness. I've heard of that, the sickness. Of course you have, everyone has. But I see this too. I reckon it's some sort of dark magic. Dying trees and animals. Fairies going missing. Even the wood sprites aren't right. We're hardy bunny, mind you. Though I've never heard of it affecting humans before. Are you sure your grandmother is sick? Grandmother lives in the Wait, you missed the line there. Yeah, I went along it. Uh, that's odd. Is it that odd? Yeah, that's odd. Humans and wood folk never share anything. Magic shouldn't be able to do that. Perhaps it's because Lots of strange things rich. are happening. Like how red is an acorn. Mm. Never heard of such a thing. Perhaps it's time. No. Perhaps it's because Grandmother lives in the Westwood. Umus can't live here. Get out there, it's a wig. No, the woods are enchanted. But, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but me and Mother have been here many times to visit Grandmother. Can't it be in these woods? Only wood folk can live here. Everything else is an illusion. Illusion? I've told you before. Humans always busy looking but never seen. I see a path or a cottage. I think, here is the woods. Here is a bush. Here is a leaf. But if they could really see, they would see our whole beautiful world. Can't show it to no woman. They'll ruin it. Just like they ruin their own world. It's perfect. Pure. Until the sickness. Yes, until the sickness came. Changed everything. Two years. We're afraid it's right. I know the line. How long ago was your sickness? That started two years ago. We were afraid to go outside. Eighteen years ago. Eighteen years we've watched our world disappear, fade. Eighteen years? But that's my age. I'm almost eighteen. Oh, to think. My whole lifetime. Two years has already been enough for me. Poor you, the woods, poor wood folk. Is that me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so That's sorry, why we're guys. all looking at each other around. around. I'm so sorry. Eighteen years ago, when I was just a lad, I searched through the mist and snow to find my aging dad. I searched an unfamiliar scene and heard a horrible scream. I ran up to the westward stream and found that all had changed. Oh, and oh, the clear your stream that keeps our souls and bodies clean. The source of life through the moon that it in was green, was green. Thank you. 
It's me, Jack, the woodcutter's son. Are you in there? I think there's some, there are some things. Okay, well, I'll be quiet now. Are you in there, Red? I was just popping rhymes, you see. And your mother told me that you were you were sick. Are you feeling better? Jack. <laughs> Jack, help me! I've fallen. Red? Is that you? Are you joking with me? Jack, please, I'm dying. Red! Oh, Stira! You're so pale. Let me help you up. You're shivering. Where's Red? I'm just gonna get her. She isn't here. Where's Red? The cloak. Take it to the stream. The stream? What stream? In the woods. Go. Now. child. Here, take this rosewood branch and swear on it that you, Estera, daughter of Queen Eric, daughter of Queen of the West Woods. Do you want to hear me? Is that okay? Okay. Here, take this rosewood branch and swear on it that you, Estera, daughter of Queen Eric of the West Woods, relinquish your powers to me, Hedera. Go on, squeeze it, say it. I, Astera, daughter of Queen Erica. Ow, it hurts! Swearing on an oath should hurt. Besides, this is nothing compared to the release you'll feel when you're free of the burdens of the wood. I, Astera, daughter of... Astera? Asteria. Asteria, Jack told me you collapsed. You look awful. I've sent for help. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. Let's try 
Oh, watch the earth now. I see the trees over there. Mother grows weaker. Mother grows weaker, and I'm on the other side of the West Woods. What she thinks, what she needs me. Are you well enough to stir? Can I fetch you a drink of water? Sorry. I was just thinking of Red, wondering how she is. I've never been this far away from her before. I hope she's not lost or hurt or frightened. I feel so helpless, Matt. I know Jack is a bit of a dreamer, but he cares deeply for Red. You, you will surely find her. You will see. She will be okay. I miss her. She feels so far away. I miss her. She feels so far away. <laughs>
stream. But I'm sure it's the, the, the stream she told me to find. And now what? Which way? Where's Red? You boy. Up to no good, I'll warrant. Lazy, good for nothing. <laughs> Come over here and have an old woman galley her food home. I must find Red. Have you seen her? Who? Mrs. Buggins, listen to me now. How dare you talk? I must find Red. Where is she? Mm, yes. In fact, I have seen her wandering around, talking to herself, acting very strange. Which I way? She was mad. Which way? Where is she? Oh, she has the sickness too. Oh, she has the sickness too. I must find her. Which way? She's always that way. Are you sure? Absolutely. That way. Such an odd request. Even if she's sick or too weak to walk, this cloak wouldn't do her very much. Okay, you might keep her a bit warm, but surely a blanket would keep her warmer. Actually, when I think about it, Red always wears this cloak when she goes into the woods. The smells of the girl. I'm on the right tracks. Maybe quick stop, rest, and eat. Mm. This is delicious. Are you not? Who's asking? We are. Hedera, you look. Hedera is my sister. You look like each other, except she's the source of all trouble, a conniving witch. She is still my sister. Wool! What are you doing? This blade is sharp and my patience is running out. I will not hesitate to run you through with it. My paws and my teeth are ready to respond to your pathetic threats. Funny. Your eyes. They look different. Not like a killer wolf. No, you're not a wolf, are you? You're being enchanted. Who are you? Your eyes give you away. You're human. I don't know what you're saying. Of course I'm a wolf. She wouldn't harm me here. She wouldn't come anywhere near me. It's not me that I'm worried about. Who did you say you were? I didn't. Who are you? The wolf. No. Who are you really? Who were you before Hedera enchanted you? I forget. Each day is harder and harder to bring. I still remember where I live. Where my wife and my children are. I watched them at dusk through the thicket. Thicket. I was scared they were growing up too fast. They'll just remember me as the, the wolf that 
still her father or husband by heaven, walked up to them and scared them with this. Thus, if Hadera knew, she would, well... She would harm them? Kill them. Cruel! So cruel! How can my own flesh and blood cause so much pain and suffering? The magic used for ill gain becomes dark magic. You know this, Anna. That's why you all took the oath. But dark magic corrupts the soul into pure evil. And the more Hadira wields this power, the more out of control she becomes. I know. I know. That power wants more power and knows not when to stop. So you stop her. It was not prophesied. We have to wait. But you were happy to stab me in the back! But... We're sorry. We saw a wild beast hunting the foulman. We didn't know you were human. She's hardly a foundling. She's a young woman now. And until I capture her, my wife, my children, will never be safe. Tell us what you know. 
I, just, I can't risk it. She, she'll find out. I just can't risk it. It's getting dark. And there's sign of the girl. Uh, I don't know where from. No, that's it. It's Josh then. Oh. I'm here. I'm taking you to the street. Come. Josh, you make a note to go the other direction, yeah. just it's artistic license. Can we, just, um, it's Katie in the right place. Can we get the wolf to run off the other side? That way I can run off the, and then it might be easier. Um, because I chase after him and I thought that that's way. That's fine, it doesn't, no. Because uh, okay. you've learned it's in your head, Katie, so just leave it. Okay. Just remember to go stand there. Okay. Carry on. Anna, I have it. She said yes. I have so much power. I can feel it coursing through my veins and I feel so strong. We can rule these Westwoods together, just like our mother, Queen Arakalis, would have wanted, instead of bowing down to the whims of the elders. How dare you compare our mother to your deceitful scheme, Tadira? I... You know the oath we took. We were never meant to rule. Oh, we were never meant to rule. We were meant to serve the Westwoods. Serve? I serve no one. Listen to yourself. The darkness is changing you already. You lied to Astira. You told her nothing of the consequences of forfeiting her powers. She will die. What she's, have you done? She has plenty of life to live. What she doesn't know won't hurt her. 18 years is a long time. Besides, I did tell her the magic was costly. It was hardly an oath. It was a curse. You cursed your sister! Well it was her well it was her choice. I merely helped her, which is more than you. You abandoned her. Don't accuse me of cursing. You cursed her when you refused to help. And that poor foundling. Finding that little human baby in a fragile state she was in. Mother had just died. Astira was broken. We were all shaken. We were all shaken. We had to take the oath before we were ready. We were all trying. Trying our best. Which is exactly what I was doing when I helped her. Trying my best. If that's your best, then I dread to imagine what your worst is. And what of the child? Red? You'll simply take her. Enslave her like the others. You, you told yourself you aided your sister. In her time of need, you're just lying to yourself. This has only ever been about you. You and you alone, Hadira. I'm done with you. You are not my sister. Leave and never come back. You are not welcome here. Get out of my realm. Abandoning me now, are you? Trying to banish me? Just you wait, sister. I'll go for now. But just you wait to see what I can do. You will be sorry. You're supposed to be putting the bridge in place. Josh! It was Josh. Josh was supposed to do it. Okay. Sorry. This is it. This is the realm of the Wood Fairy. It used to be beautiful. Till sickness came. Changed everything. Which is 
going to kill me. It's very dusk and I haven't even made it near Grandmother's house. Well then, you sent some imposters. Now you're really seeing red. Can you see any clutches? Have you seen any clutches? No, nothing. I reckon someone's been tricking you. Some sort of dark spell. But, but me and Mother used to come visit every fourth Friday. We, we would check up and, and we would have supper. Sounds like some sort of trick of deer and play, though she generally stays well away from the wood fairies around. Well, now we're here. Let's look for Anna. She's trying to show not what to do. Nobody's here. It's awfully quiet as well. Red, I've been looking for Yeah? Yeah. You know. Red, I've been looking for you for ages. You look sick. Put this on. Red, who's this woman? Jack, it's my friend Jack. Jack, this is Twitch and Twig. Stop! Stop! You're imagining things! No, this is Twitchy Twig. They've been telling me all about the evil witch Hedera <laughs> and the magical acorns. I even met her talking. Stop! Before. Red! You're just. You're sick! You're imagining people. There's nobody here. Should we beat him with sticks? They don't know where we No, Twitch. Remember, he can't see us or hear us. He's human through and through. Yes! No, I don't know! I'm not a doctor! I'm not sick, Jack. Although, I am a bit famished. I remember, I think I have some bread to give to Grant. Oh no! I must have dropped it! Oh, I'm useless. I can't even do a simple task. No one's another never let me go on my own. Don't speak words over, you like, over yourself like that. Anyway, it makes you sad, and I think you are... Get up, Joe! Child, let grandmother have a look at you. Me? Yeah. Yeah. I have some, I have some cordial from like two times daily. Where's the cottage, grandmother? Red. That, that's no grandmother. That's quiet. Jack. Red. <laughs> Red. Let's go now. I've. Now you've got the boat, let's go home. Right, Red, I don't understand the sickness. I'm not a doctor. But oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry. Red, I don't understand. I'm not a doctor, but I know that seeing people is a bad thing. Now I've given you your cloak. Now I've given you your cloak. Let's go home. Kadira, <laughs> you can stay in my new cottage, Red. Come with me. Stay in my new cottage, Red. Come, come with me. Where is the cottage, Grandmother? That's not your grandmother. That's the wood witch, Hedera. She's trying to stop you from crossing the bridge. But me? Yeah. But my but my, uh, ah. <laughs> but why would Mother bring me here? Why? Child, the woman you knew as Mother was not your. Cross the bridge before it's too late. Time is running out. Come on, Red. Let's go home. 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 Stop! Everyone, stop! No one speak. Should have got the cloak when you had your chance. I don't understand.
Nej, nej. Men har jo altså ikke... Hvad er det? You! Wolf! Yes, yes. You! Wolf! You must stop! 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 Stop her from crossing the stream. Just kill if you have to. Just you mustn't cross the stream. Can someone just... No, no, no. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Such a rat! Give you a piece of my mind! Lazy, good for nothing! Wait! Wait, let me Oh, yeah! Wait! Wait a minute! The old woman didn't see red! That can only mean one thing, surely! Red isn't a human child! The fountain wasn't human! What fountain? You are, Shane. No, I didn't. Get in the, the seat. seat. 
music that you were sit you're talking to. Oh, uh, huh? Kate's on stage. Yeah. So talk to her as if she's. Oh, there. that worker. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but you were sick. I left you at home. Yes. My strength is returning. In the middle of the stage, basically. Estera, I thought you would die. So did I. My weakening is now strengthening. Okay, sister song. Here we go. Can we not do sister song? No, we are doing sister song. Oh, what a shout! Oh, that's the one. 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 Oh,
And what about the cottage? And grandmother? It was, uh, it was my way of checking in on you. Making sure you were keeping to our contract. Or magic. So, who am I then? Who do I belong to? Who left me? I don't know. But the elder should know. Where is he? I saw him. Over there. Something odd was written by your mother, Queen Arakalis, the night before she died. It always struck me as out of place. It's been niggling me all day. I thought if I found this scroll, it might help me remember. Wow. Hang on. I might have found something. Ah, this. Take a listen. My dearest. Yeah, my dearest girls, uh, watchers and protectors, be at peace for I know you. I know each one of you. Estira of the earth. Thank you. That's me. Nadira of the trees. Anagalis of the water. And Selene of the plants. You see? I always thought the queen was referring to something else. But uh, today, I realized that the foundling was your sister, Red. You are Selene. You are the fourth fairy in the woods. In a serious haste, she had not noticed the queen had hidden you before the sickness took her. I thought I had caused the sickness. I thought it was my fault. It appears that the sickness had already entered the woods. The queen was doing the best she could with the time she had left. So Red would not like me? Yes, but a fairy. No wonder the acorn found her. Why could Jack and Mrs. Muggins, why could they see me? Because you lived outside the woods for so long. All your magic had just dried up. And Estira had no magic either. When you went into the woods, the magic came and found you, just as it was meant to do, meant to be. Uh, can we hear you sing? <laughs> oh God, no, I'm not singing on my own. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Next page. <laughs> oh. So, Fred. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we'll, we'll skip that. Oh, I'm oh. supposed to be holding your hands and loving you. Yeah. Red, so... Can you hold hands? Okay, come on. So, Red, you're not human then, Arch. Go for that cue. So, Red, you're not human? It appears not. Oh, oh, it appears not. But we can still be friends, though. Just not in that way. Just not in that way. What is it? You, not me. I mean, me, not you. <laughs> no, it's not. It? it appears oh, not, but we can always be friends. You've been there for me, and I will. Okay. It appears not. But we can still be friends, Jack. You've always been there for me, and I'll always be with you. Wait, no, you're <laughs> <it's> fine. <laughs> Sorry, it's dyslexia. I know the line. But you've always been there for me. And I'll always be there for you too. <clears throat> I found this in the stream. Which way is it? He's human again. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That's not your line. Right, do you? 
Um, Sam, do your entrance again. Sorry. Where are you? Oh, sorry. Quite wet cloak. <laughs> I found this in the street. Ooh. You're human again. I thought you were dead. Well, you try. But something bigger and more powerful is changing everything back. The stream is clear. Beasts and birds are returning. Speaking of which, I am off to return to my family. It's no time to lose. Thank you. Thank you for helping us stop you from using this thing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too scared. Was that a pause? No. Edward. I think it's my name. It may be Eddie. Ah, there's no more time to waste. Did you hear that? The, the, the wood is healing itself. The, look, the wood is healing itself. It's beautiful. Yep. So this is what the wood used to look like. S twig. This is it. This is more like home. Oh, so, I knew you were going to say, that's the height of the bridge. 